You see these logos all the time, but have you ever paid attention to the little known messages hidden in the designs? Keep your eyes peeled for them now. If you notice more than 75% of these logos' meanings, then you're a top-notch sleuth. Some car enthusiasts say that Lamborghini is a bull that only its driver can tame. But that's not the only reason for this logo. It's Ferruccio Lamborghini's, who's the owner of the business Zodiac sign. The company's success was written in the stars. Goodwill's logo is just half a smiley face, right? But take a good look at the G at the bottom. It's the exact same symbol. Tesla's T represents more than just the first letter of the brand's name. Do you know enough about electric cars to recognize what it is? It's a cross-section of an electric motor. What do you see in LG's logo? If you said a face, you're right. If you said the letters of the company's name, you're also right. The L and G were designed to look like a winking face to represent friendliness and create a connection with customers. Take a look at Continental's logo. Do you see the hidden message? It might help to know what the company does. If you don't know, they manufacture tires. And look, there's one in the combination of the C and O. Vio is a tech company, but they still wanted to pay homage to analog technology. You can see it in their logo. If you're tech savvy, you'll figure this one out. The letters V and A are an analog wave, and the I and O are meant to represent the ones and zeros used in binary code. The logo for the font hub, My Fonts, needed its very own special font, of course. Can you spot what makes it so clever? The word My is shaped like a hand. The design is meant to communicate that anyone can get their hands on all the fonts they want. If you ever took the time to study your bag of chips before devouring them, you would notice this one. Inside the brand's name, there are two people enjoying some chips and salsa. This is the secondary logo of the Washington Capitals. Look closely to spot the hidden detail. It's the bottom of the eagle. The shape is the silhouette of the Capitol building. Lacoste is a luxury casual wear brand, so why is their logo a crocodile? It's a reference to the founder and tennis star, René Lacoste, who was nicknamed the Crocodile on the Court. Apparently, the name came from a bet that Lacoste made with a team captain, the winner taking home a crocodile skin suitcase. He didn't win the suitcase, but the nickname stuck. Yoga Australia's logo is so clever. Do you notice why? Check out the negative space between the figure's arm and leg. Recognize that shape? Yeah, it's Australia! The Philadelphia Eagles logo isn't just the powerful bird's head. Every shape is very intentional. See it? Those three feathers on the right line up perfectly to form the letter E. University of Arkansas Pine Bluff's mascot is a golden lion that hides a genius message. Tucked in its mane, there are the letters UAPB. Paramount's logo sure has a lot of stars, right? Can you guess why? The original design included 24 stars, one for each of the contracted movie stars they worked with. Two stars were removed in the 70s, though. No one's quite sure why. Missouri Western State University's Griffin Crest camouflages a brilliant design choice. Missourians, I hope you see this one. The Griffin is shaped like Missouri. And not only that, it's looking west. Well played, Missouri Western State. Sun Microsystems logo is a cool shape, but does it actually mean anything? Yep, it spells out sun over and over. Squint and you'll see it. The Minnesota Twins logo looks like the ultimate classic baseball style, but can you spot where they put their own flair? Which letters does the underlined swoop under? Win. Why? Because the designer wanted to say Twins win. Microsoft made XNA to help people create video games. They didn't skimp on creativity when designing their logo either. That orange swash is actually Morse code. It's a combination of the dots and dashes that mean X, N, and A. Notice anything unusual in Toblerone's mountain? Do you see this bear? It's so cleverly hidden. Toblerone was founded in Bern, Switzerland which is called the City of Bears. A basketball and a red R. Hmm. Is there anything else here? 
sure is. A rocket makes up the left part of the arc. The Tennessee Titans smoothly nod to their home state with their logo. Can you connect the dots? Or should I say, connect the stars? Because they're a reference to the state's flag. The colors of these diamonds in the Pittsburgh Steelers logo aren't random. Actually, they're a very smart message. Each one represents a material used to make steel. Yellow for coal, orange for iron ore, and blue for steel scrap. Wow! This one for George Washington University took me a while to get. See if your eyes are sharper than mine. Smack dab in the middle of the W is the Washington Monument. Is the Arizona Diamondbacks design just a funky looking A? Of course not. In the middle, there's a head of a Diamondback snake. What's this horse mascot hiding? An M on its forehead. Take a close look at this one. What do you see? It's basically a treasure map, where the I overlaps with the map is the exact location of the Islanders' home ring. Have you ever thought about what the stars of the NFL logo mean? There are eight of them, one for each division in the league. Notice anything unusual about the shape of these giraffes? Their legs create the iconic skyline of the Bronx. I bet you've never thought the Bluetooth icon was hiding a secret. It's not just a pointy B, it's a combination of the Nordic symbols for H and B, which is a reference to the King Harold Bluetooth. Once you see this one, it'll be stuck in your head forever. Inside the BR logo, you may spot number 31, referencing the 31 flavors of ice cream that the first Baskin Robbins opened with. If you pay close attention to this logo, I'm sure you'll spot a brilliantly hidden detail. Right there, a cyclist on a bike. Wow, hidden in plain sight! Washington State University's mascot is a cougar, but it's also the initials WSU forming the shape. Why are the TripAdvisor's owl's eyes two different colors? They're like a traffic light. Green light, you should go on the trip. Red light, definitely not. Many people think the British phone company Vodafone's logo is an earpiece, but it's not. It's an open quotation mark showing the beginning of a conversation. If you've ever looked closely at a pack of Orbit gum, you'll recognize this one. The O has a dark and light side and a lens flare, which means it's actually Earth in its orbit around the Sun. Roxy's logo might look like two hands forming a heart, but it's actually the logo of their parent company, Quicksilver, turned on its side. Speaking of Quicksilver, it also has a message hidden in its logo. It's a stylized version of the famous art, The Great Wave of Kanagawa. This department store in France was so inventive with its logo. See the two T's leaning against each other? They make up the Eiffel Tower. Xbox's logo is an X, duh, but it might also be a loaf of sourdough bread. The inventor loves to bake and actually baked a loaf of sourdough with the 4,500-year-old Egyptian yeast. Now that you look at the Xbox logo again, doesn't it look kinda doughy? The Milwaukee Brewers logo sure looks like a baseball mitt catching a ball, but that's not all it is. Did you spot the letters B and M? The Washington Wizards didn't use this groovy mascot logo for long, but that doesn't mean they didn't put effort into all its details. His beard is a W. Take a good hard look at the Hershey's Kisses logo and tell me when you see it. You might want to turn your screen sideways. Between the K and I, there's a kiss. Hershey's isn't the only chocolate brand putting thought into every detail. Do you know what makes Twix's logo so special? Inside the dot of the I, there are two tiny Twix bars. Do you see what's so clever about Aberdeen Football Club's design? Well, the goal is an A, of course. How many hidden details did you spot? If you notice the hidden message in more than 30 of these logos, you have the eyes of a super sleuth. Wikipedia saved you a gazillion times, but did you pay enough attention to find the correct logo? Yes, that's the one with the capital A. 
Do you know the logo of the Disney Channel? Here it is. Ralph Lauren's logo. What's your guess? It's this one. Next up, Nescafe. What's the correct logo? It's this one. Hot Wheels, it's the best-selling toy brand in the world. It made even more money than Lego or Barbie. I bet you have a few of them. Can you spot the correct logo? It's this one. New Balance, left or right? It's the left one. Formula One is a racing world championship that originated in Europe in the 1920s and is now held around the world. Find the correct logo now. Here it is. The day Paul Van Doren opened his first van store, he didn't have enough change. So he allowed his 12 customers to go home with the shoes and asked them to come the next day to pay. Every single one came back to pay. Which logo is correct? Here it is. Did you know that Sour Patch Kids were only invented in the early 1970s? Anyway, you love them, but do you know the logo well? It's this one. What's the correct Assassin's Creed logo? Here it is. If you're about to buy a Tesla, there are two options. Which one is real and which one is fake? Yes, of course it's this one. What's the correct Hallmark Channel logo? This one, right? Starlink is SpaceX's satellite internet constellation. What's the correct logo? It's this one. Hardcore flashbacks. Sesame Street has been running since 1969, so it's been around since even your parents were little. We know it all too well. What's the correct logo? It's this one, of course. What's the correct Calvin Klein logo? It's this one here. That's a fancy car brand you don't see often, but it's famous. So what's the correct logo? This one here. I know, I know, switching colors is a hard game, but it's one of the most popular channels. So just trust your instincts. Yes, this one right here. You got it. What's the correct Mazda to buy? Yes, it's this one. What's the correct logo of Beats? This one right here. Did you know that Mountain Dew is produced by the same company that has Pepsi? Anyway, the question remains, which logo is the correct one? It's this one. Do you know what the correct Armani logo is? It's this one. You see it all the time on your pens, but you probably never paid attention. What's the correct logo?
It's this one. UPS, left or right? It's the right one. Amnesty International is a global movement for human rights. What's the correct logo? It's this one here. Can you find the correct logo? Yeah, it's right here. What about Java? Can you find the one? This one, of course. Boeing has been an American company producing airplanes and equipment since 1916. That's a tough one, but maybe you can spot the right logo. It's this one. Find the correct Alfa Romeo logo. That's the one. What about Slack? Can you spot it? It's right here. What do you have to say here? Yeah, it's this one. Whether you're a FIFA or The Sims kind of person, your leisure time is excellent thanks to the electronic arts. But what's the correct logo? Yes, it's this one. Subaru is a Japanese company and it's already 68 years old. How many stars does it have on the logo? The big one and five small ones. Pinterest has been around since December 2009. It's older than Instagram, Quora, and Snapchat. After 12 years of having it, can you spot the correct logo? Here it is. What's the correct LG logo? It's this one. Warner Brothers made your life so much better with its movies. What's the correct logo? You have to know. Of course, it's this one. Are you a gamer? If yes, you must get this one. If not, well, try your best. It's this one. Did you get it right? Hasbro was founded in Rhode Island by three brothers in 1923. At first, they were selling textile remnants, and now they sell toys and games. What's the correct logo? That's the one. Too simple, you gotta know the right one. Here it is. Were you a good enough fan to know which logo is correct? Yes, here's the one. Did you have enough time to memorize the meta logo? This one, nothing hard. What's the correct Dr. Pepper logo? Yeah, it's the one on the right. What about Prada? Can you spot the real one? That's the one. Costco logo, what's your guess? It's this one. I know it's next to impossible, but give it a try. Listen to your gut. What's the correct logo?
It's this one. If you guessed it right, you're a real pro. Did you know that Pandora is a Danish brand? Yeah, it is, but what's the correct logo? Yes, here it is. Great job!